Samantha from Jessima Tutorials here and today I'm going to show you how to create these two techniques. Now this was originally borrowed from the watercolour arts and that is actually where I saw a video on it and that is this technique over here. They used watercolour paint and cling wrap to create this technique and so I saw a photo from Helen Braille a little while back where she used this technique and created a really cool pendant and so it inspired me to start playing around with it. So I did the original technique like this which I really like and then I also thought that I should try it with bubble wrap and see what it looks like. Now I have tried it on metallic clays but I find that the white works much better because the alcohol ink seems to leach into the metallics. So here's the metallic versus the white, and so you can decide which one you like best. And here's it for the other technique. So I just find that the white is more striking. So that's what we're going to be using today. We'll be using some white. So let me pop these off to the side, as these were my test veneers. And we'll bring over the white. And now you need to make your white big enough that it is going to fit oops, that it is going to be able to fit a collar necklace. So let me just trim away this excess here. And then we can start. So we're going to be using this collar cutter. And so you want one half one side and then one half on the other side. Okay, so it's both fit. So I'll start by showing you how to create the bubble wrap. So move that off to the side and bring over the bubble wrap. Now this is a piece that I've already used, that's fine. And you're also going to need a wooden block with a piece of felt over the top. Don't mind the colour. And you're going to need alcohol inks. So I'm going to be using Sailboat Blue and I'll open these as I go. Pull. Mermaid and turquoise and you can use any colours you want okay so I've got those all open and ready to go and then I've got the bubble wrap over here and so I'm going to start with the sailboat blue just dab that around then we'll move on to the pool Dip that around, then I'll add some of the mermaid, and then finally some of the turquoise. Okay, I just want to add a little bit more the sailboat blue. Okay, and then we'll use that and press onto the tops of our bubble wrap. And you want to move fast because you don't want this drying out on you. An important thing is to not have too much alcohol ink on here. So that's why I want to use this. And now I'm pressing fairly hard and going over it multiple times just to layer up that alcohol ink. white, clear, turn this over and press down. Okay and then you want to leave this to dry for at least an hour. And you might want to put something heavy on it like a book just make sure that you're not going to get alcohol ink on it okay so the next one is going to be using a cling wrap technique so let me just bring over that cling wrap quickly okay here's a nice big piece and now you just want to take that and roll it into a ball like that and then carefully 
unravel it. And this will just start giving it some crinkles and stuff and it will just encourage it to form these wrinkles that you want. Okay, and then just pull it out a bit. But you can see that it's got minor crinkles in it already. And then just fuss with it a little bit. And you're trying to get crinkles and once you're happy with that you can tap it down to the clay okay and if you're unhappy with it and want to try again you can always just lift this up okay then you need little pipettes uh, you need your alcohol inks and you need a needle of some kind and I'm just going to be using this uh, pin tool that I can use to poke the clean for. So I'm going to start with the sailboat blue. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze the puppet, put it over the nozzle, and suck up that ink. And I put that off to the side. And then I'm going to choose an area that I want to poke. And you'll just poke a hole with your needle tool and then let the alcohol ink run through that hole poke a hole pop some ink through and you only need to spray a little bit and that's better than trying to go from the edges because then you don't have to lift up your crinkle pattern Unless you want to change an area, so I just want to change that area over there. Okay, but it means that you don't have to lift up your pattern, and so um, it just means that the pattern will be a bit more consistent. There we are. And then you'll continue doing that with all the colours. I like to do the sailboat blue first because that's my favourite colour, and then I do each of the colours separately until I have filled up all the spaces. And then once done, I let that dry for at least five hours, though preferably it's better done overnight. Okay, so here it is now that I have finished. So I'm going to go pop this off to dry for at least an hour. I haven't put too much alcohol ink in it, so it should be fine within an hour. And I'll bring over that bubble wrap, which should be done by now. Okay, so I've had some books resting on this. And this is what it looks like. I'm quite happy with that. That looks nice. So you can see at some areas um, we didn't have as much cover in alcohol ink, and others we have more cover. So it's quite nice. But you have all of this plain white area as well. So lift that up. And we can have a look at that quickly so I can show you what it looks like. Okay, and I'm going to pop that off to the side and just clean up the tile. Okay, so here it is and I've let it dry for around an hour. So now just gently and carefully I'm going to lift the clean wrap up. And that looks really nice. Very happy with how that looks. Yeah, it matches quite nicely with this. The two actually came out looking quite different. But they're made with basically the same alcohol inks, so they do match. So we just pick that up, pop that over here so you can see what it looks like, and then you can see that one next to it. So that's basically it for this tutorial, and these sheets will be used in uh, not next week's video, the week after that, because Next week I'm going to show you how to create a, a watercolour, a oyster watercolour mica shift. And so that will be next week's tutorial.
So, I do hope that this was helpful to you, and if it was, please do let me know, as that is always helpful to me. And if you are going to use these for something that you need to sand, uh, which we will, we are going to need to, so later on we are going to put a thin sheet of translucent over the top of them. If you wanted to sand them, that is what you need to do. But you also have the option of leaving them like this, because uh, the alcohol ink is pretty strong. So if you don't plan to sand your piece, you don't have to put alcohol ink, excuse me, um, translucent over them. But if you do plan to sand them for anything, you do need to put a sheet of translucent over them. And we'll do that when we get to making our project. So I do hope this was helpful to you. Please do let me know and please do leave a comment and a like. And please do check out my Patreon account as that is also very helpful to me and I post all sorts of cool project tutorials on there, each one on a different uh, tier. On the first three, or the last three tiers, always get a project. And I post three tutorials a month. So if you sign up on the $15, you'll be able to get three separate projects each month. And so please do check that out. That is always very helpful to me. And I'll see you in the next part. Bye for now.